noche de amor Todo duerme en derredor Desde los astros que esparcen su luz Ve al infinito Jesús Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in singing together, Silent Night. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, but the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary, Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning this child. Like the wise men and shepherds over 2,000 years ago, we pause to remember the child 
sleeping in the night and his eternal promise of goodness and light. He was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in still another village where he worked in a carpenter's shop until he was 30. Then for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never had a family or owned a house. He didn't go to college. He never visited a big city. In fact, he never traveled more than 200 miles from the place where he was born. He did none of the things one usually associates with greatness. He had no credentials but himself. He was turned over to his enemies and went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for his clothing, the only property he had on earth. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Over 20 centuries have come and gone, and today, he is the central figure of the human race and the leader of mankind's progress. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies that ever sailed, all the parliaments that ever sat, all the kings that ever reigned put together have not affected the life of man on this earth as much as that one solitary life. We still celebrate the birthday of that babe of Bethlehem, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace.
Ladies and gentlemen, we extend our sincere thanks to the Candlelight Choir. The Voices of Liberty. For you and your loved ones, choose to celebrate. May peace, hope, and joy be shared all around the world and be yours in abundance this holiday season. So from my family to yours, everybody, Merry Christmas. Merry